This is Sports Center. This week's edition of Sports Center sees the volleyball team's first home game against the TGU Titans. The football team duking out with Surrey in a home game. And the Lady Bearcats with another home game against the Lakota Adams Edmore Raiders. It's all here on a brand new Sports Center from Northstar. Right now. Hello, and welcome to Sports Center. I'm Jacob Hagler, along with Jessica Tubner, and we'll be covering the North Star sports scene. The volleyball team started their season with three away games, and then matched up with TGU for their first home game. The Bearcats had defeated the Titans earlier in the season in the Botno tournament, and with that experience, they went into the game with confidence. Kelsey Tubner serves a bullet at the TGU defense as the Titans have a tough time returning the ball, giving the Bearcats a free ball, which they capitalize by turning into a point. Kelsey Tubner from the service line, where she lived all night, serves one of her 10 aces. After an extended volley, the Bearcats play excellent defense as Hannah Alto digs it up for Northstar to set up their offense as Sarah Hagler comes in for the kill. Allie Heisler sets it to Hagler as they do a little give and go action to set up Heisler for the kill. The Bearcats make it look easy as Heisler sets up Jessica Tubner who gets one of her 11 kills of the night. Hannah Alto sets it up high and it's down hard by Hagler for one of her 11 kills. Tubner ends all hope for the Titans as she gets the final kill of the night ending the game in straight sets. Sarah and Jessica both ended the game with double digits in kills, and Kelsey Tubner led the Bearcats in serving, finishing off with a career high of 10 aces. With that victory, the Bearcats were 3-0 in head-to-head -head competition. The football team had just come off convincing wins over Moha and Four Winds on the road. They like to continue the trend at home against the Surrey Mustangs, who come into the game with a record of two wins and one loss. If the Mustangs could defeat the Bearcats, they would both be tied for second place in the region. The Bearcats made sure that wouldn't happen. The Bearcats take the opening kickoff, wasting no time as they drive down the field as Hagler hooks up with Larson for an early touchdown in the first quarter to start the scoring for the Bearcats, giving North Star an early 8-0 lead. North Star gets the running game going here as Brown sees a big hole and runs over a would-be Mustang tackler and carries two more on his back as he picks up a nice chunk of yards. North Star mixing it up with the pass and run as Hagler puts one up for Weston as he uses great athletic ability to get up and make a play for one of his two touchdowns on the night. Right before half, Surrey is trying to put some points on the board, but the Bearcats think otherwise as Grandy picks it off and takes it back for six as the defense steps up to the challenge and doing something done that hasn't been done this year, scoring a touchdown on D. Surrey gains some momentum as they score after half just to have it taken away on the ensuing kickoff as Grandy uses patience before accelerating through the big hole then popping it outside, he makes a few Mustang tacklers miss, whoop! then makes his final cut to the end zone for a touchdown, taking all hopes of a comeback away from the Surrey Mustangs. The Bearcats come out of this game unscathed as they win big. Daniel Grandy scored in three different ways on the night, a pick six, a kick return, and a receiving touchdown. The Bearcat offense was slowed down a bit by the Mustangs, failing to reach 300 yards of total offense for the first time this year. But they also didn't have to punt for the second straight game. That win put the Bearcats atop the region standings, along with TGU. After an away game at Roulette, where the Bearcats won in three straight sets, the volleyball team then came home to take on the Lakota Raiders. We were expecting a tough matchup. The Bearcats start off strong as Allie Heisler sets it up for Sarah Hagler, who slams it down for the kill. Later on in the match, Lakota sends over a free ball, giving the Bearcats an opportunity to set up Jessica Tubner for one of her 14 kills of the night. Lakota's Ashton Frigi had a good night serving, but the Bearcats dead on passing made it easy for Kelsey Tuber to answer back with a kill. 
Again, we see the Bearcats' great passing, making it possible for Hagler to sweep behind Hannah Elto for the kill. Sarah Hagler ended the game with the season high of 19 kills, and Janae Larson had a great night passing, finishing the game with 17 digs. It took the Bearcats four games, but they got their fifth straight win, keeping the team undefeated in regular season play. That's it for this edition of Sports Center. Our next show will cover the last half of September, as well as homecoming week in early October. For Jessica Tubner, I'm Jacob Hagler, and the Packers did beat the Seahawks.